everyone, Sam from United People's TV, here as always with a reaction to Van Hal's press conference, this one ahead of Derby, this one one of his most important press conferences as United manager, and he's come out fighting. Now we've had reports all week, we've been following the Van Hal story right from the start, from Sunday night when James Ducker from the Times reported that he had tried to resign twice this year, and both times were rejected by Ed Woodward. Followed up on Monday by claims from Jamie Jackson in The Guardian that he had tried to resign after the Southampton game. Van Howe is denying all of that. Here's what he said. He said um, he came out swinging, effectively. He said, it is awful and horrible, but you can write. It is the third time I am sacked and I am still sitting here. Now, there's two things to take from this. Well, I suppose there's one thing to take from it and two different angles. Somebody is lying. Either the press have completely made everything up this week that he tried to resign, and that's never happened. Or Van Hal did offer to resign, but is refusing to tell us, and Man United is refusing to tell us. Let me know in the comments below who you think is telling the truth, because I don't really know where to look at this anymore. It's just a, it's a mess. It is such a mess. You see James Cooper on Sky Sports talking about it, saying that Van Howe had these times uh, at Barcelona, had these times at Bayern Munich, but he really lost it when the board went against him. Here's what Louis Van Howe had to say about the board this time. He said, it's fantastic, of course. He's talking about the support from the board. But that also that gives you a lot of pressure because when the board has such confidence in you, then the pressure is much higher than when they say it's your last game or something like that. When your confidence is not so high, you can fight against it. But I always fight. I am always fighting. When you fight, you have a bigger motivation than when they support you. <clears throat> How the fuck can that board sit there and support Van Hal? Sit there and go, you know what, Ed? We've got the right man in here. Yeah, yeah he's definitely the right manager. Let's keep him, yeah? That no reason why we get rid of him. None at all. Right, yeah, let's go Derby. It's mind-boggling. There's a reason why the boards at Bayern Munich and the boards at Barcelona didn't support him. Because you can't, you can't justify Van Hal being Man United's manager anymore. It's pointless. Winning at Derby will do nothing. Losing at Derby will probably do nothing, although it should get rid of him. But it probably fucking won't, because the board is supporting him. Because uh, the, the, another story that's come out this week is that Ed Woodward and Arnold, who's a director on the board, want Mourinho in, but Fergie and Jill want Giggs in. And is, can the board just not decide on who who should replace him? Is that the reason they're backing him? Because it can't be backing him because of the football performances. Because we're a shower of shit right now. We're going to Derby, and we don't even know if we're going to beat Derby. It's a complete mess. This club is a complete mess from the top to the bottom. You look at Ed Woodward, you look at our academy, we've lost 11 games in a row for the under-18s. We haven't replaced Brian McClare, who left as director of the academy in February last year. A year! We haven't replaced our director of the academy. You've probably got the club secretary making decisions. And Nicky Butt, doing a job way much higher than he should be at this point in his managerial career. You've got Van Howe, who couldn't inspire a piss-up in a brewery. Let alone... If, if you can't keep the momentum from beating Liverpool at Anfield into Southampton as a manager, what the fuck are you going to do? How can you possibly get those players up for a derby game? I, do, I just, I don't know. I really don't know what to say anymore. Because Van Hal is adamantly denying that he ever tried to resign. But the press were dead confident. I, I, don't, I, I know the press makes shit up, and that has been the case all the time. They've done it before, and it's not to say they haven't done it again this time. But Van Howe is flat out denying. He's called it awful and horrible. That's what he's labelled these reports as. He's completely denying that he's ever tried to resign. And he's saying that the board has complete confidence in him. Bullshit. I don't have complete confidence in you, Louis. I did have, but I've lost faith. Because you're not showing this process and this philosophy and progression. There is no progression. We're stagnant. We're going backwards. It's madness. It's absolutely madness. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this press conference reaction. As you can tell, I'm a little bit pissed off, really, because the club's a joke. We've become a laughing stock. From the top to the bottom, I don't really know where to point and where to say the problems are anymore, because there's so many. Um, in a separate note, 
an injury update for you. Let me get the injury updates. So Darmian's, Darmian's out of the game. Um, injury isn't too serious. Uh, Michael Carrick might feature. Won't play 90 minutes. Van Hal cannot say if Schweinsteiger and Jones are close to a return. Said every time I remark about injuries, it is always different because injuries have developments and you have to wait and see. All in all, he's told us absolutely nothing about injuries, apart from the fact that Darmian won't play. So who's going to play against Derby? Make sure you watch our predicted 11. You don't know who's going to play. John has gone through his predicted 11 to see in the team. But all in all, what do we make of this Van Hal situation? Either Van Hal is lying through his back teeth or the press is lying. Somebody's lying. Who? Let me know in the comments below who you think it is. Like the video as always, subscribe to United People's TV, and we'll see you tomorrow for another nil-nil draw. Take it easy, guys. Over to the Ball Street YouTube channel, subscribe and check out Deadline Day on the 1st of February this year. It's going to be the biggest Deadline Day party in the history of YouTube, the history of the world, the history of football.